Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be doing a review slash rant on a book. So the book that I'm doing it with is Dark Secrets 1 by Elizabeth Chandler. I don't have a name for this series yet. I hope that by the time that I post this video, I've already got a name for this series. So yeah. And yeah, let's just get on with this. Um, I do have like a notebook right here because it's been more than a month since I've read this. So so before I forget the, de the details that I want to talk about this, I just wrote it down. So in this book, there's actually two books and there's actually two books in one. So there is... Um, the first book is Legacy of Lies. And the second one is Don't Tell. I'll just read the plot summary they have here in the back. So in Legacy of Lies, Megan has to stay with the uptight grandmother she wants nothing to do with. She's determined to get through the visit without any drama. Without any drama. But when she falls into a twisted love triangle with potentially fatal consequences, Megan may may be caught up in her family's legacy in more ways than she realizes. In more ways than she realizes, there's just a few deta details that I want to talk about. The first book, I just like the concept of it, um, of the like the reincarnation when um Avril and Thomas reincarnated. They reincarnated into Megan and Matt in the present time. Avril and Thomas is in the same era as Megan's grandmother, and somehow they died, and and they were reincarnated into Megan and Matt in the present. So I think that's the only thing I was fascinated about in that in the first book. And for the second book, it's don't tell and i'll read the plot summary in don't tell lauren knows that by returning to the town where her mother drowned seven years ago she'll be relieving one of her most haunting memories when she arrives she is propelled into a series of mysterious events that mimic the days leading up to her mother's death maybe her mother's drowning wasn't an accident after all and maybe lauren is next there's a few details that I want to talk about this book and um, the first one that I really want to talk about is it's there's a scene in this book that really made me laugh even with like the seriousness in the book it's when so Lauren went to Holly and to Holly and Nick's prom and she just went some guy that um holly um holly introduced to her the guy that she was going with at prom and her had a f like had a dispute and she's just walking back to her aunt's house and it was raining and then nick saw her and nick just pick her up and then drop her off at her aunt's house and next thing they know they were kissing and and after they kissed Lauren ran away and her shoes were stuck in the mud and that what that one made me really laugh because like with the seriousness that was happening in the book with like the mystery um that happened and so yeah that just made me laugh in the turn of the events next i was reading this book like late at night and the things that were happening to her like when she was in the I think greenhouse or something like that and like the lights went out the vines tying into a knot and something like that it was just really creepy to me because like I said I was reading into I was reading at night and like because you know I was all alone in my room and it's at night so I was like oh my god why am I reading this at night and I think this is a major spoiler but in the end um Aunt Jewel revealed that um Lauren was act is her biological daughter like her real daughter and the mother that Lauren knows ju is just like an adoptive mother I think I still remember the backstory of this Aunt Jewel and Sandra and Sandra was like the mother that was the mother that 
Lauren grew up with and she said like Angel said that her and Sandra was pregnant at the same time and Angel gave birth to a healthy baby and Sandra's baby died and was also a girl and since Angel was having some financial issues she gave Lauren to Sandra. I was not really expecting that scene so there's that and there's a bit of a cliffhanger in the end because like it didn't really say what happened to Frank and Holly who tried to I think this is another spoiler who tried to kill Lauren and Holly did confess that she killed Sandra and that she was trying to kill Lauren. I was more interested on what's going to happen to Frank and Holly which was not really written on the book. So yeah, I just really want to know what happened to them. And the overall rating that I will give this book is 4.5 out of 5 because I really liked it and I only finished it in about three to four days because i do have work in between and i think that's all what i'm going to say for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys want to follow me on my twitter instagram and tumblr i'll have those links down below and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys on my next video Bye.